everyone. Welcome to today's episode. We're diving headfirst into the delightful world of Bluey, the Australian animated series that has taken the globe by storm. I'm absolutely fascinated by its universal appeal. Sam, what do you think makes this show such a hit with both kids and grown-ups? Great question, Alex. For me, Bluey's magic lies in its storytelling. This show doesn't talk down to kids. Instead, it treats them as smart, emotionally complex individuals. It's kind of like the Pixar movies. They're fun, but also deeply moving for both kids and adults. Absolutely. The creators of Bluey are fearless in addressing real-life issues and emotions that makes it so relatable for all ages. Remember the season three finale, The Sign? That episode had a lot of adults reaching for tissues. Totally agree. The Sign was a tearjerker. But what strikes me is how Bluey also delves into the struggles of parenting. It's groundbreaking for a kid's show to highlight the imperfections and insecurities of parents. That's a real game changer. No doubt about it, Sam. Some parents even say Bluey has changed their parenting styles for the better. How do you think this shift could influence the future of kids' programming? Well, Alex, I think Bluey has set a new benchmark. Its success shows that kids can handle stories with emotional depth and real-world challenges. This could definitely inspire more shows to go this route, which would be fantastic for the genre. I completely agree. What's fascinating is how Bluey has attracted a diverse audience, including adults without kids. What do you make of this phenomenon? It's intriguing, Alex. These shows tap into our nostalgia and the need for wholesome entertainment. Bluey captures the essence of family life, which resonates with many adults, reminding them of their own childhoods. Let's dig into the characters a bit more. What makes Bluey herself so endearing? Is it just her energy, or is there something deeper at play? Bluey's curiosity and creativity are what make her so relatable. The creators have brilliantly captured the wonder of childhood. She's not just energetic, but also authentic and imaginative. What about her parents, Bandit and Chili? They seem to have struck a chord with many viewers. How do they contribute to the show's success? Bandit and Chili are fantastic role models. They make mistakes, but always strive to do their best. Their authenticity and relatability make them endearing. They're the kind of parents everyone can connect with. Looking ahead, what do you think the future holds for Bluey? Do you see it influencing other shows in the children's TV landscape? I think Bluey will continue to be a trendsetter, encouraging more shows to embrace emotional depth and real-life themes. It might just revolutionize how we approach children's programming, emphasizing substance over simplicity. That's a great insight, Sam. As we wrap up, what's the key takeaway from Bluey's success that you want our listeners to remember? For me, Alex, the big takeaway is that kids' programming can be both entertaining and deeply meaningful. Bluey proves that you don't have to sacrifice complexity or nuance. It's truly a game changer. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me, Sam, on this wonderful journey into the world of Bluey. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.